The use of solitary confinement in prisons is a controversial topic that has been debated for many years. Solitary confinement is the practice of isolating prisoners in their cells for extended periods of time, often for weeks or months. All in all, it is clear that solitary confinement can have a range of negative psychological and physical effects on prisoners. Despite this, solitary confinement remains a common practice in many prisons, and it is important that prison officials recognize the effects of solitary confinement and take steps to minimize its use. For example, prisons should ensure that prisoners are provided with adequate mental health care and access to outdoor exercise and social interaction. Furthermore, prisoners should be regularly monitored to ensure that they are not subject to prolonged periods of isolation. Ultimately, solitary confinement can have a significant impact on prisoners' mental and physical health, and it is important that prison officials take steps to reduce its use. By doing so, they can ensure that prisoners are treated humanely and their rights are respected. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. On the surface, solitary confinement may seem like a reasonable way to discipline prisoners and keep order in prisons, but in reality the effects of solitary confinement can be devastating for both the body and the mind. To begin with, the psychological effects of solitary confinement can be severe. Being locked in a cell with limited contact with other people can lead to feelings of isolation, depression, and anxiety. In some cases, prisoners may develop psychosis or suicidal thought. Solitary confinement can also lead to a decrease in cognitive functioning, as prisoners may lose their ability to think clearly and concentrate. In addition to these psychological effects, there are also physical effects of long-term solitary confinement. Prolonged isolation can lead to decreased physical activity, which can lead to weakened muscles, reduced mobility, and a higher risk of developing chronic diseases. Furthermore, solitary confinement can lead to a decrease in the production of important hormones, such as serotonin and melatonin, which can lead to sleep disturbances and mood swings.